Welcome back guys to another top 5. As per last time I should make a quick disclaimer that I do not own any of the photos and they can all be found on Google Images. With a quick and simple search, if you own them and want them removed, please contact me in the comments below or through my channel page. So, let's get into it. So far in the series, we've taken a look at Boeing add-ons, uh, where we've concluded that the BMW G747 version 3 is the best add-on available for Boeing, if you want to fly Boeing aircraft. And last time we looked into Airbus add-ons, where we uh, it was slightly more controversial than the Boeing add-ons. However, we have concluded the Aerosoft A320-321, also the A318-390, I can put it in there, are the best Airbus add-ons, uh, best value for money at least, out there for sp 3 d Anyway, this, looking into, this week we're looking into other aircraft, and what that means is they aren't Boeing or Airbus. Uh, this, some of these are not really comparable. Uh, as some are GA aircraft, some are um, commercial aircraft. The top number one spot this week is definitely number one compared to all the other aircraft. But the the bottom four, they're sort of they're pretty all on equal playing field, to be honest. So don't, offended if your favorite add-on isn't at number two or number one or what have you. Okay, so let's kick it off with number five, where we have A2A Simulations. This company specializes in general aviation aircraft and have got many products out on the market for prepared uh, 3D and F6. The company prides itself on top of line products and specializes in uh, high fidelity systems and models. The only reason I haven't put it higher up uh, compared to one of the other products on this list is because personally I don't believe that they don't have they don't personally I don't think they have the best eye candy as such. Uh, don't take don't judge your thoughts from this video as some of the pictures are uh, pixelated, as you can probably see from this image right now. So that's the only reason I haven't put it up, and I'll explain a bit more about that on the video. Now going on to number four, we have the FF Slabs Concord X. Uh, FS Labs came up second last week and makes it make it into another list uh, this week. They just came up short of the Airsoft A320. The Concorde is truly a marvel of aviation. FS Labs have really done an excellent job at recreating its systems in a huge amount of detail. The only reason I haven't put it higher up is because it's such a niche market and not many people fly it. Probably because there is so much uh, work to do that you have to be the captain, FO, and flight engineer all at once. And for a lot of people who just want to fly, they'll go, that's why they like Airbus, because it's not as much to do. Anyway, uh, that is why it is at number four. Now, going down to number three, PMDG DC6. Uh, it's already an X-Plane, uh, but here is another developer making its way back into the series, and PMDG has now come into the top three of two episodes, really showing how extremely detailed their products are. The DCC, DC6 hasn't been uh, released in FSX for, or P3D, to my knowledge so far, I think it's still in beta, however it has been released in the X-Plane, giving us uh, a sort of a little bit of an idea of how it's going to be. The only reason I haven't put it up to number three position is because it's in beta, and although I'm sure it will be absolutely stunning and an incredible aircraft to fly, you can never actually be sure until it is released. So hopefully yeah, I'll be redoing this list later on. Now going to number two, we have Carinado, I think it's pronounced Carinado. Developer has been around for a few years now and mainly focuses on general aviation aircraft and small business jets. They've also been, they've been known for their in-depth uh, systems and stunning textures as you can see from the shiny King Air aircraft here in the photo. They have a tw over 20 different products and as you can see from the photo, the eye candy in the cockpit and well, the extra in the last photo is truly remarkable and this is the reason I've actually popped it above. A2A simulations. Uh, please, if you have any ideas just, uh, or different opinions, please put it in the comments below. Anyway, going on to our number uh, one spot this week. This, I'm sure many of you know what it is, and it truly is the best aircraft you can get that's not FSX for FSX or no, not Boeing or Airbus. We have the Majestic Dash 8 Q400. If you like flying turboprops, this is definitely a must buy. They have three different versions, which range in complexity, uh, and it's just it's a really incredible product. The systems are all fully modelled, as you expect, and the lightings and sound are just breathtaking. The Dash 8 is a lovely plane to fly, and it has a step up in complexity from 
say the 747 or 777 that isn't as complex as the as the Concorde. I mean, it has a nice balance between having just a bit of uh, being able to quick sub that quickly, but also having lots to do in the meantime. The Dash 8 has many routes and airlines that you can operate uh, it with, and you'll never get bored. Furthermore, the Pilot and Pro versions are both very reasonably priced, so the training version for those hardcore by the book simmers is quite expensive, €149.95. That's around the same price as the PMGC 747 version 3 and FS Labs A320. So you do sort of pay for what you get. It is an incredible product, as you can just see from this picture. It just looks absolutely stunning. Anyway, there, there you go, guys. Uh, it was a bit shorter this week, not much to speak about. In fifth place, we had the A2A, fourth FS Labs Concord X, third PMDG PMDG's DC6, fourth, uh, second place, we have the Canado uh, product, uh, line of products, and in first place this week, we have the Majestic Dash 8 Q400. So there we go, there we have the top three add ons so far, and next uh, week, we'll dive into the world of sceneries, kick it off with the Middle East. So if you know, uh, have your personal top favourites, please leave them in the comments below. Anyway guys, till then, stay safe, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.